Okay. There we go. And eventually, there we go. Twitch is going as well. There it is. Fantastic. Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dr. Shadow, the United Person on the Best Air. And welcome back to this game I'm playing called Shenmue 3. Ah, okay, okay. Let's pop in there, pop in there. Pop in there. Now, where we last left. Where we last left off. I just ran up on a bunch of kids who were, who were like playing hide and seek. Or thing. Oh wait, that's right. We were going somewhere, and then I stopped in the middle of it because I was it, it, the time. The day was just real long. Oh crap! What were we doing? What were we doing exactly? So what I found at Sue's house to the villagers. That specific thing. What the hell did I find? Oh, the, the list. The list. Oh god, that's right. The list. Hello, Dylan M. Kaiser. Hello, hello. Now. Another thing, another thing to note, though, in terms of food, food, this is very important. Though, Maxime, you do, today, a bad day at work, been blamed for something you didn't do. Oh, jeez, I hate that, especially at work. Like, I hate that in general, but it really sucks at work because it's supposed to be a professional environment, and you find that kind of breaks down real fast when it's just the blame game and finger pointing and popularity contests. But... Ah, the good news is, remember, I mentioned on a previous stream while we were, while we were, while we was fishing, I believe, that, hey, I got some udon coming, maybe. I have found a really good price that I think maybe Walmart listed it too, too little, because it's the lowest price I've seen for this particular one by far. Uh, well, it arrived, and yes, I got my udon. Now, right now, I've just got the udon in there with an egg. As as you prepare it, not as the way it's not as the way it is listed on the package. But instead of doing it for throwing everything together and nuking it for two minutes and being like good enough, what you do? You throw just the soup base in, nuke it for three minutes, and then you drop a egg in there, nuke it for two more minutes, and that gives you a beautiful soft boiled egg in the super hot udon and then when you're getting ready to enjoy your udon you get your dried flake now get a good look at that dried flake well i mean i guess you can't so well but you got your seaweed you got your tempura you got some you got some naruto in there and then you just go uh, Get all that in there, all nice, nice. Ah, that smells so good. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we got several Naruto in this one. Nice. You know the Naruto. They're a little tiny, but they do the job. Oh, man. And we got them Thickums noodles. Look at how Thickums these dang Udon noodles is. Those some Thickums noodles. They so good. They so good. And they're so dang hot right now, so it's gonna take me a while. I'm not gonna sit here and just eat the whole bowl. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it cool a bit. Oh. But yeah. That is a good udon. Anyway. Anyway. Coworker think you're the one who didn't clean after going to the bathroom and leave a shit on the toilet. I mean, after every time you go, ah, oh, geez. It's not only is it a false accusation, bullshit, but it's trying to act like you. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's an. It's even more insulting. Hey, dude, man, I got a list. Got to show you my list. Hey. Oh, it's you again. 
Yes, it's me again. I need help with something. What do you want? What you want the fucking list here? I want to kick your ass, honestly. Here, look at this. Ron, Shu, and Joe. They're all stonemasons. Yes, wait, well, I know that. What about the last two? Stonemasons? Yeah. This looks like a list of stonemasons. Yes, I figured that Why one out. Why the hell do you have this? Because it was in the fucking... It's complicated. <laughs> what? Okay, thanks. This guy just don't like me, and I don't like him, because he don't like me. This is a registry of stonemasons. Wait, you just figured that out? He just... Rio, seriously? <laughs> it just clicked? It just clicked? <laughs> oh... Hmm. Tasty, tasty udon. Anyway, it just fucking clicked. <sighs> udon. And it, it it says it right on the tin. It's spelled right there. Udon. I mean, I, I don't know how much clearer I could make it. He still doesn't know he's in China yet. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, in his defense, there's a surprisingly large amount of Japanese everywhere. Like, there was less in Hong Kong. Now we go, like, into the heart of China, and suddenly... Like, I swear... I swear they knew a uh, homeless, jobless Japanese man was coming to town because how else do you explain the Aribaito sign outside the Taugat? Aribaito, the part-time job, like the, in Japanese. That is, uh, that is katakana. That's also in English, I guess. I, I, I didn't notice that at first, but <laughs> it's... <sighs> I didn't know that until after dinner, during dinner, I have cleaned the shit somebody else told her boss. She said should not have cleaned the call the owner of grocery store to show... Okay, I'm... I'm running a bit of... Uh, yeah, I'm, that's a, 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 a bit jumbled words, but I think I understand what you're saying here. Need to get some chopsticks? Uh, it's eh, not too hard to get. Well, I guess, like, a good... Well, you, you, hmm. You see, it's a, getting chopsticks to fit your hand, a good length, a good girth, and also a good shape. Uh, Chinese chopsticks tend to be just round. Japanese chopsticks tend to have square... be more square. While Korean chopsticks are flat. What is this? Uh, this is Shenmue 3. And I am also having my dinner, so I'm, I have that bowl of udon. Not with my name on it. My name's not in Japanese. But I, I, it's got my chopsticks in it. It's good enough for me. Having a big fat bowl of Shinmu. Ah, yes, ah, yes. Tara doesn't. Okay. Tara wants to get in her spot, and my, her spot has udon on it right now, so <laughs> she is like, huh? <laughs> what do I do now?
Tasty, tasty udon. How long have I been playing this game? Uh, this is part four of the stream, so... I guess we're closing in on nine to ten hours of Shenmue 3. I haven't exactly been speedrunning or anything. But, you know... It's not exactly... I mean, it's... it's I guess you could, of course, but it's more of a, a, a game you're supposed to take in generally and like like there's a run button but early on your health is kind of shitty and it's advised not to because it, it does drain your health and you got to eat food to get your health back just living drains your health so you yeah, kind of be about halfway when you change locations right right I'm gonna change, I, I'm changing locations in Shenmue 2, and then there's just... It just kind of kept going. And going. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, when the hell does this game ever end? What's going on? Uh. Because at that point, I had Shenmue 3, and I wanted to get started on it, but... Ooh, that looks like... Yes! Licorice. Nice. Yeah, I'm supposed to be walking over to Shen Hua's place and saying hi, but I figured just stop and smell the flowers, you know? Enjoy your time in town. It's only about 6 p.m. I got time before I have to head back home. She's not the boss of me. It gives her time to make dinner. You see? See, it all works out. One of the two dogs that followed me the one day, uh, that was... Uh, uh, Tenshi in Dutch. Unfortunately, uh, Tenshi got parvo. And being a small town, it was yeah the start of the long weekend before we could take them to the vets to get them treated. And by the time we got the medicine and such, they died that night. And it was extremely tragic. Uh, and then immediately after... Dutch started showing signs of Parvo. But, uh, fortunately, we already had all of the stuff we needed to treat that, and we were able to save Dutch. So. But yeah, Lou, Lou isn't uh, one of those. Lou showed up here just by herself. Like, she just showed up one day, hungry and sad looking, and uh, never left. <laughs> hello, Annabus. Hello, hello. Just playing some Shenmue and enjoying some Udon. Play the way you play Witcher 3, everything but the main quest. <laughs> oh, hello. That's Oh, that looked so pickable right there, but it's not. It's not pickable. Can I pick it anyway? Let me let me tear all these pretty flowers out of the earth. They all go in my back pocket. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Let's say, uh, usually we have some nice music to go with Shenwa's house. Where the hell the music go? Nerd! I like the Shenhua house music. Ain't nothing wrong with having nice music while I'm tearing up flowers left and right, destroying her garden as it is. As it were, as it should be. Seen a video of you playing Elden Ring? Like enough to play the upcoming DLC? Oh, I, I do intend to play the the DLC. I uh, I hopped in a game with uh, Sparkles in Motion recently. Uh, Poulter convinced her to upgrade to Game Pass Ultimate so that she gets the 
uh, the multiplayer access on Xbox. And I hopped in and we tore up a few things. That was very late at night. Haven't had a chance to play with Sparkles since that point, but it'd be nice. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. Let's stay here. Let's stay here. I'm just... I'm just picking flowers. Road Dipper? That does, sounds... God damn, there's so many flowers here in Shenwa's lawn. She's gonna be so proud of me for tearing all the flowers out of her garden. I mean, like, Shenwa, look at this. I just reach in my back pocket, pull out a handful of crumpled flowers. <laughs> and Shenhua, bless her heart, she's just gonna be like, Oh, Ryo, that's... nice. What's the flower for? Oh, you, you can uh, get sets of them and sell them, or... There are certain, uh... It's gotten so dark. Yeah, it has. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Yeah, that's what we were supposed to be doing, but we instead were picking flowers. Uh, but also, in the skill book exchange in the pawn shop, there are certain skills I can get for herb sets. Uh, I have no idea what frickin' pawn shop to go to to make this exchange, but... I can get the tiger thigh to go with my double blow. Then I can practice that until mastery. Work my kung fu, increase my killing power. Oh yeah. There we go. The Naruto has has reconstituted in the broth and it's much bigger now. Look at that Naruto. Oh yeah. Hmm. I think it helps the first time I ever had Udon, it was from an Udon house. When... When I went to Japan. And so it's just like, huh, okay, these are some big Thickums noodles. These are some incredibly Thickums noodles. And I get back to America and I'm like, I want my Thickums noodles. I got my Thickums noodles. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have... We we're supposed to have, like, a scripted kind of zany adventure in Japan, and the problem was that we didn't get to... didn't get to film a scripted zany adventure because we were busy having a zany adventure. Oh, that was, that was <laughs> a heck of a time. I remember after getting back, laying in my bed in the, in the house and like just feeling that generally the, uh... Shenhua, someone ransacked Mr. Sure's house. Sure, the stonemason? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He worked with my father. I've only ever heard good things about him. <coughs> Is that so? So what happened? I've only ever heard Is him getting he okay? ransacked. Nobody's seen him since. Oh my gosh, they took him too. But I found this. This is father and shirt. And this as well. Father's name, and sure, and Joe are on here. And the other two guys. The only one on here is a stonemason. And who are the other two who haven't been scratched off? Those thugs must have been behind the attack. Obviously. Thank you for noticing. Oh. Some kids in the village saw the thugs enter Shir's house. So if they went after him, then this... Belonged to the thugs. They must have dropped it. 
They've crossed off some of the names. Yeah. Now, the other ones. The thugs must be crossing off the names of the stonemasons they've attacked. What? Then, they got to my father. We don't know that for sure. He could be in hiding. Rio! Yeah. I'll go and talk to the other stonemasons. <sighs> okay. What are they after, anyway? <sighs> okay. Find the stonemasons and talk. Okay, now we gotta figure out what. Uh, God damn. Okay, well, that's great. I'm excited to see what will be served. Oh, that's what you're looking at, Rio? Okay. Hey, Xinhua. Hmm? Do you want to keep talking? Did you die speak? Who did you play with as a kid? Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's kind of out of left field, Rio. You had friends, right? Yes, but they didn't have names. Oh god, she's- oh no, no, we, she was already talking to the animals, but- You don't mean the- I do. <sighs> I played with the animals. Okay, at least- I knew it. Did you have any <laughs> human friends? Of course. I was close with Wei Jun and Mei Mei. Well, you could have led with that! You could have just left the whole, I played with talking animals part out of the story. Okay. Phew. Why the sigh of relief? Uh. No reason. You're not gonna fuck, Shenhua. Listen, Leo. <laughs> I want to hear more about you. Yeah? What's up? Who did you play with as a kid? Sonic the Hedgehog. Gamers. <laughs> I had some friends who were really into games. We'd play at the arcade together. Like the one at the Panda Market? Yeah, exactly. We were pretty intense. Wow. I have to admit, I didn't see that one coming. Glad I could surprise you. Do you still play? Yeah, sometimes. And is it still fun? Yes! Yeah, I think so anyway. All those... Huh. Uh, Shenhua, don't tell me you're one of those little fucks like, Oh, ain't you ever gonna grow out of that? And like, no! I'm 40 years old playing Shenmue 3. Hey, Shenhua. Hmm? Do you want to keep talking? I mean, yeah. Why not? What was school like for you? Well, there aren't any schools here. Well, okay, well that answers that. So, how do the children learn? Life. They go to school in the next village over. Oh well. But you didn't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> she just says like, no, fuck it, fuck education. How come? Oh, now that I had to stay be. home and take care of the chores. Ah, uh, okay. My father taught me everything in the school's curriculum, though. She was homeschooled, got it. All by himself? Yes. Every night after he came back from the quarry, no matter how tired he was. Wow. Listen, Leo. I want to hear more about you. Yeah? What's up? You went to school, didn't you? I... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Mm. Okay, I either cut class, enjoyed school, or didn't. Uh, well, I'm a proud Japanese man, so absolutely I enjoyed school, yes. Yeah, I did. That's good. I made a lot of friends in school. Some of the teachers were annoying, though. So I break their legs. Were you a good student? Of course I was. Though, I wasn't good at every subject. What subjects did you like? Karate. Gym class. <laughs> naturally. Yes, you look pretty athletic. Um, sure. <laughs> I was also pretty good at Japanese. That's interesting. <laughs> well, a lot of difficult words and technique names came up in my martial arts training. So I had something of a head start. Well, I, oh, that makes sense. I mean, the Japanese guy bragging that he's good at Japanese is like, really? Hey, Xinhua. Do you want to keep talking? 
Who made that swing on the Shenmue tree? I did. My father. Oh, no. I used to swing on it every day when I was little. It looks fun. I loved it. I could see clear across the river if I got high enough. Well, you don't need the swing for that. Maybe I should give it a shot. That might actually be dangerous. <laughs> it's like... Why is that? Things like 15 well, years it old. It wasn't built for someone big like you. Yeah, I guess not. Leo, tell me, what's your favorite memory from when you were little? Hmm, tough question. I used to buy lots of candy and eat it right there in the candy shop. That's fucking disgusting, real. There are shops that only sell candy? Yeah. And one of them was right by my house. It was you just stuffed your too. face with cheap candy. That and you could eat what you bought right there? <sighs> yeah. So, my friends and I would go almost every day. You, how are you... That certainly sounds like... That fun. sounds like a red flag. The foul-mouthed old lady who ran the shop would give us free treats sometimes. What? That's... I... This is going... She sounds like Kong Mei over in the Panda Market. How did that remind you of someone? Is she the same way? <laughs> yes. She has a dirty mouth, but the kids love her. Like Eminem. She's pretty similar then. <laughs> hey, Xinhua. I still have some cleaning up to do. Why don't you head on to bed? Yeah, I might do that. Why not? Who knows? Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, God, what does she put in that tea? It is still steaming hot. In America, they eat it before they purchase it. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Oh, I just, I just realized I have the rock room. Save real quick, and then go to sleep. Next day. Ooh. Leo, it's morning. It's your ass up. Hmm. Right. All right. Showed Shenhua this piece of paper. Done. Find stonemasons and talk to them. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. <sighs> Continue to have the best conversation ever. First thing, every day. Hey, Leo. Hmm? Have a good day. Be safe. Thanks. I will. She sounded a little more affectionate there. Let's uh head on over to the village square. Okay, we gotta find stone masons. Hey, kid, you know where a stonemason is? I need help with something. Yeah? Are there any stonemasons around? Ling's dad is one, but he's kind of scary, so I don't talk to him. Mr. Joe, okay? His house is that way. What? You can usually find him drawing pictures in the village square. Okay, thanks. Okay. Big pictures in the village square, you say? Why, why do I, what, hmm? Drawing pictures? Where the hell would you draw a picture? Can I go deeper into the village? Like, am I not at the square? What? Who? What? Huh? I can find out.
I don't know if I can go this deep in yet. Let's have a look around here. First. No, I'm not allowed to go that deep in yet. Bio's like, uh, uh, not walking down that road. Or stance practice over there. Got fishing rods for rent down here. How's it going? Sir? May I bother you? I may not bother him. He's just gonna fish. He's just not even gonna acknowledge my existence. I'm gonna stab the, the camera with his bamboo rod there. Huh. Wait a I can't just cut through the... There you go. We can see the... Uh. Is like, no, it's not taking the road. It is not the proper way. I refuse. Hmm. See, I think we're good on money right now. Man, we got 901 dollarinos. As I did make a whole butt ton fishing. Nice. Push the guy into the lake? I'm afraid I'm not allowed to push the guy into the lake. There's no interaction coming up at all, staring these guys down. Which is weird, because there was this one guy who was fishing who I was able to talk to, and then the guy told me off because he was like, Yeah, you're not a real fishing man. I was like, Who the fuck you think you're talking to? I am forklift man. I will drive the forklift into the lake and lift out a, a huge fucking bass. That's how I do it, okay? You here playing with your little rod, I got the forklift. I can check for plants down this way while I walk to see if I can talk to any of these guys. Can't talk to him either. Can I fish? Yeah, if I rent a rod, I'm allowed to fish. But, that's... You're limited in the amount of time you have, and if I do that, I feel like I'm just going to be locked in and doing the fishing thing for a couple of in-game hours, making as much money as I can doing that. It's actually not a bad way to make money, in my opinion. It's relatively easy. Uh, and you make a good amount... It just takes a few hours in-game versus other activities in-game that take less time. But those expend more stamina. I forgot to try to see if I could talk to this guy. No. Hmm. All those... Contending fate. Something contending fate. Ah. I've been t I have been shown all of those kanji, but I'm only really confident with the last one. Nochi. As your fishies. Fishy just fishing around. Can I just? I think I can fish here. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to do that unless I go all the way to the fishing shop and rent the pole there, then run to the fishing spot and fish.
And I'm only allowed to rent fishing poles. I have not seen anything indicating that I will ever be allowed to buy a fishing pole. Okay, so that ain't Village Square. Stonemason Man draws pictures in Village Square. I ain't seen no motherfuckers draw a single picture in this entire village, so I don't know what the hell the kid talking about. I could shake down some other folk. Be like, hey. What the fuck this kid talking about? Only ever be able to rent fishing poles? Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, let's head on down to the Sunflower Grove, see if anyone over there has anything to say. Hey! It's a cute martial artist lady. We could ask her what she think. I need help with something. Are you speaking to me? Oh, um, what do you need? Do you know any stonemasons? Are you looking for Sir Gwale? He lives nearby. It's been a few days since I last saw him, though. Is there anybody else? There are a few others that live in this village. I know there's one in the village square and another one in the panda market. Okay, thanks. Where the hell the panda market? How the hell I panda market it? Just say there's an arcade in the panda market. I want to go to the panda market and play in the arcade. Yeah, as opposed to the hot martial artist lady. We still got a picture of the hot martial artist lady. We carry it around with us. There she is. How do I... There, there we go. Ah. Okay. Maybe I could see about following signs towards the panda market if it's possible. I don't know. Ah. Losing a bit of health here. About half. I should probably stop to eat. Man cannot live on bread alone. But he can live on black garlic. Oh boy, can he live on black garlic. This looks like a nice place to... Just... There we go. Oomph down some black garlic. Would I, if I were a stonemason, where would I be hiding? Hmm. Oof. A funny thing, I don't think I've seen any quarries. Or heard any reference to any location of any quarry? Is 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 uh, the Spirit River Stone that is only in this area? But I don't know where they get it from. Or Phantom River Stone? Hey, there's the there's the guy who told me off before. There's the fisherman who can t who who is willing to talk to me. And swears in my face. Excuse me. What is it? Do you know where I can find a stonemason? 
Not really. Anybody? Birds. What? Water birds target fish. You can find fish beneath them. I see. Okay, Rain Man. Let's have a look around here first. <sighs> Can't go that way. Last bit of udon bowl left. Hmm. Give me a minute. Ah, this one had like three or four Naruto. Not enough dumb teenagers for a quarry. Fair, fair, but that also reminds me of a very sad thing. After doing the uh, video on the quarry and the video on uh, Evil West, I've been having issues with YouTube on both of them. Uh, now, the quarry, I understood that it was likely going to get hit with a bunch of copyright claims for the music. Everyone warned me about that, and it did, like, six of them. Six different claims. But... The problem I had was that YouTube also hit it with a community guidelines violation and said that it's, you know, it is not suitable for advertisers for this, that, or the other. And I'm like, not only is it just a stream of a game, and that is perfectly okay according to YouTube if it's unedited and it's, there's no way to edit in a live stream... Uh, if it's a video game. Oh, now that shit. Yeah, uh... Nothing even fucking happened. Like, I didn't even get to a gruesome part of the game. I played the beginning, and I did a pretty good job of keeping everyone in one piece. So I'm there like, what the fuck? So I, uh, disputed that, and it came back with confirmed by manual review, yes, you're in violation. <laughs> and I'm like... Well, fuck me, then. So the quarry has become something dangerous to stream as a result. Um, but then, unfortunately, with the uh, Evil West, uh, it just get, keeps getting hit over and over again by YouTube claiming that I'm using someone else's melody because the Old West-style music has Old West-style melodies of public domain melodies that, of course fraudulent uh, companies will throw into the claims, I into the uh, copyright claim system and just be like, okay, well we'll just claim everything with that, and YouTube's there like well, we don't have enough information on the song to be able to mute just the song, but we, 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 you owe them money. You owe them money. It's like the fuck I do, they don't own shit here. So Excuse me. Do you know where I can find a stonemason? What is it? Stone mason. I'm looking for a stonemason. You're looking for him again? There's something I'd like to ask. Oh, -ho. you have a question? Where the fuck the stonemason yes. is? So, who do you want to ask? Um, a stonemason? Why are you looking for a stonemason? Um, please excuse me. <sighs> and dangle, dangle. Okay, so I am failing to locate stonemasons. Maybe these guys know where some sailors are around here. Uh. The moment the big content creators have finally had enough of this, YouTube will be as finished as Blockbuster. A good amount of them are deciding to just, you know, hang up the towel and be, uh, 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 throw in the towel. Hang up, just, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? 
Yeah, just like, hey, uh... Okay, time to retire. I've, I'm a good 32 years old. I've made enough money in my life. That's <laughs> enough of this bullshit. Hello and welcome. Ah. Oh, did you come alone today? Yes. Do you know where I can find a stonemason? What about your inn? Is there anybody else? Well, there's Joe, who lives nearby. Mr. Joe, eh? There's a stonemason, or two, in every settlement in the village. That's a see. fucking lot of stonemasons. You'd think with that many stonemasons I could, like, just randomly trip across one, but... Guess not. Let me try knocking on his door, see if he's home. Probably not. I say he comes home at night. Right. Hello, ADR. Hello, hello. I've been recognized a couple of times, David Valdez, but not not particularly often. Mr. Joe. Hmm. Hey, he's home. I need your help with something. Okay, well, geez. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Not really. All these people are stonemasons. We've made a lot of progress today. I found it at Mr. Schur's house. And why do you have it? Because I Mr. picked it Schur's up. Mr. Schur's house was ransacked. Seriously? And what of Schur? I didn't see him anywhere. First you're in, now Schur. Hmm. Yes? There's a red line over Uren and Schur's names. My name's also highlighted. And the names that aren't on the line? Stonemasons that haven't been attacked. Yes, we figured this out. Now, who the f He's in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Do you know where Mr. Cut lives? The Panda Market. Where is that? I'll go check it out. Okay, well, Panda Market time. Panda Market time. Nerd! I, I, wait, I blame Just Gaming. <laughs> as soon as you get the points, you gotta use them like that. <laughs> okay. Panda Markets. Panda. Panda. Market Land. As I understand those kanji. Not say I have the pronunciation of that exactly down yet, though. That's not good. I guess, yeah, now I'm allowed to go up this way. I wasn't allowed to go this way before. It's a piggies. It's a piggies. I guess this is probably where he lives. Hello? Uh, it seems nobody's home. I'll try again later. Well, fantastic, fantastic. He, he doesn't live here right now. Ask around the marketplace, because he's not home. Ooh, we got more capsule toys. Ah, so it's you. Sorry? You're the Japanese boy everyone in the village is talking about, right? Yeah. Drink! Would you like to have a look at my shop? Sure. Do you have Japanese money? As you can see, I operate a pawn shop. I do sales and exchanges. Oh, good. You got the skill books? Exchanges? Indeed. Gather a set of items together and bring them to me. You can then trade them in for a skill book. Yes, the skill books. Is that so? Yes, you look rather tough. May I presume you are interested in skill books? <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. Do you have any and spare experience means, points? Trade with me. It will be far cheaper than buying elsewhere. That's good to know. Come see me whenever you get a set together. Okay, I will. Oh, that's handy to... Oh, yeah, that's... that's great, that's great. I will come see you. Welcome. Well, come on in. You've got something to sell? I'll buy it, and I'll give you a good deal, too. You can exchange complete sets of items as well. I will exchange. 
You can exchange complete sets of items here, if you have any. Okay. So we got our capsule set. We can get our back fist, our heaven flip. Mm -mm -mm. We can even get the spinning back fist. Hell to the yes. Oh, man. Maelstrom strike. Oh, spiral. Oh, these. Okay, okay. Let's see. Tiger thigh. Okay. All the herb sets exchanged. Capsule sets. Let's get the back fist. Whop them. And a uh, prize set. Get that spinning back fist. Alrighty. Never played this. What kind of game is it similar to? Uh, what I... I trust you're satisfied. Come by anytime if you have something you'd like to exchange. A lot of people compare Shenmue to the Yakuza series, though. I only ever played Yakuza Like a Dragon, so... I can't really talk too much on it. Wacky Mole? High-tech land band... band oh, yes, here we go. We got Wacky Mole. Oh, God. QTE battle. Excite QTE 3. Highway Star. Oh, God. I'll give it a try. What is this? The sad thing is this reminds me of a toy I had as a kid. It, it, it had the road on a roller, and it had a car, and it had a steering wheel, and the steering wheel would move the car left and right, and you'd have the toy going, and it, the roller was just going and making it kind of look like the car was going down a street. <laughs> And it was not even remotely convincing, even even at a very young age. But when you have jack shit, like... Uh, okay. That was a good run. Was it? Just one more. No! I'll come back later. <laughs> Your recommended is just Twitch thoughts? You blame me for Okay. Hmm? They have a TV here. Maybe I should play one. Play some wacky mole.
stage two. There's another stage of Wacky Mole. Green big wheel ticket times huh. two. I set a record. I'm the best wacky molar ever. I'll keep going. No, 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 no. Let's uh, end on a high note. I'll pass. Oh. Oh man. Oh. Accidentally replaced my halogen bulbs with hallucinogen bulbs. Circuit breakers are tripping and my electric bill is really high. <sighs> Fuck. My kanji is not good enough. I know that's death. That's right there, that's shinu. That's invariably at the top. Nerd! Invariable kill... Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know that one. Plum? Well, plum is often used in many weird ways. Like, the rainy season is like plum rain. That's, for some reason, that's... Uh, and that's fist, so plum fist. I have no idea what the hell a plum fist is. I don't know what the middle one is, but that's invariable kill something plum fist. <sighs> uh. Various balls. <laughs> I could get some various balls. Ooh, gem set. Fire extinguisher friends. Ah. Uh. Yes. Erase fire. Case. Uh. But if I remember right, the uh, fire extinguisher is a shokaki. Hey. The case is an onyomi shoka. So the shokaki. Fire, fire, fire. Bitto, fire. No, fire. Setto, setto, fire. Setto. Shokaki fire setto. Okay. All right. <sighs> you can probably just smash those and take everything. Think you can take everything in that? Are you looking at my ass? Excuse me. Yes. Are you looking at my ass? Sorry to bother you. You're a first timer, aren't you? Yes, I am. I know it's not much, but welcome to my restaurant. Thank you for having me. 
She was looking at my ass. The second area has pinball. Pardon me. Hiya. I'm looking for Mr. Ka. He won't be home yet. It's still light out. But I don't think he's been home for days. Well, that's a problem. So. Oh, he's just been missing for fucking ever. Uh, you know, happens sometimes. Oh well. Excuse me. Welcome to my Baijiu stand. <laughs> I, I guess we're even then, Jovan. I guess so. I guess so. Old old school pinball, no flippers. Wait, just a ding dang old minute here. I'm not sh I'm not familiar with that pinball. Biru. Wait, I wait. I can buy a beer. They won't let me buy biru back at home, but. Fuck, let's let's get a sixer. This is all just fucking alcohol. Okay, well. Let's get a sixer of beer. Appreciate the business. Yeah, no problem. Um thanks for not checking my ID. The drunken panda. Oh. No, that's just panda suck panda alcohol house <laughs> that's not drunken alcohol houses like though I guess drunken panda sounds more like a pub name but still it's it, Oh! Whoa, 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 Matt Slasher. Thank you, you dropped you dropped $20 super chat. Thank you always having good content, even when YouTube keeps making it harder. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. I guess I'll take it. That I'm still waiting for the dang uh, Killer Sofa review to be cleared on YouTube. It's uploaded, it's just still blocked. Must be a popular movie everyone looking forward to. Ooh, nice shorts, nice shorts. I can get behind that. Yep, there it is. Hmm. Ooh, free water. Ah, not allowed to use the free water. I got new herb maps. That's good. A new herb. A big dang one. What heck was that? Bellflower. Okay. Need a forklift shirt? <laughs> uh, need the forklift shirt, shirt and cape. Let everyone know I am Forklift Man. Prize exchange! Uh. Scenery? Scenery goods? Sentence? And with something, what is that? Place. A good sentence something place. Okay. Hello, welcome. Here for prizes? No! Prizes? I yes. just like reading. Don't you have any tokens? <laughs> Go play Lucky Hit or something and get some. Wait, wait. Right. Tokens. I have tokens! You can trade them in at my shop for some fabulous prizes. It better be fabulous, because I. Do you have any idea how long I was safe scumming just to get the one freaking thing? 
Excuse me. Hello, welcome. Have any tokens to exchange? Actually, I need your help with something else. What is it? <laughs> she like suddenly very worried. I'm looking for Mr. Ka. Ka lives right behind my house. Have you seen him? He wasn't home though. Maybe he still has work to do and isn't back yet. That man tends to keep to himself. I see. He usually comes home around seven or so. Got it. Thanks a lot. Howdy, come on in. Want to trade tokens for prizes? Uh, let's see what you got. What you got? With that amount, here's what you can choose from. With that, what what do I have? What can I exchange for more? A banana. I I can get a. Why would you want to prize me a banana? Ling Shenmu Monk T-shirt. Silk gauze fabric. What the hell would I need that for? What do you? What is this? A hundred tokens for a black garlic? That seems a bit much. I'm confused. Why? A picture of a sunflower. The first time in the movie, Summer Me and Winter You, in which the protagonist meets his girlfriend in a sunflower field. I can get a metronome so I can never sleep again. Collection exchange, maybe. A, 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 a desk of drawers. 330 tokens for that. 100 tokens for a piece of garlic. A, a teddy bear. 800 tokens. One-handed frying pan. <laughs> Beautiful woman. A drawing of a woman from ancient times. She has a relaxed aura. Holding a bottle of vinegar? The child looks ready to make sushi. You got some weird kids. Jesus, these teddy bears. A whole set of teddy bears. Oh, no. Aquamarine. 1,570 tokens. Oh, my God. Smoky crystal. Purple crystal. Three... Thousand. Also known as amethyst, this relatively famous purple crystal is also used to manufacture citrine quartz. Hey. Don't nice. want anything? Well, I'm gonna have to gamble up more money. Jesus Christ! Three thousand for a freaking rock. <sighs> yeah, potato chips here. Shenmu brand potato chips. You didn't, you didn't think to freaking have that. In your exchange, you just got cake just out. Okay. <sighs> mm. Mm. Until, until he stops and turns around and is like, nope, can't do that. We seem to be making progress. A fishing spot, ain't that nice. And there's some herbs over here. And another stump rock that I think is supposed to be a mushroom of some kind, but oh well. What's up here? More herb. 
Nice. I wonder what the total variety of herb Ryo can collect is. Can he, can he locate and harvest the wacky tabacky? Will Shenhua kick him out of his ha out of her house if he comes home and that's how his jacket smells? What the Terra? Terra sitting on my keyboard and <laughs> pressing the Windows key. Uh, she was just finding a new, more comfortable spot. Oh, yeah. Uh, when it comes to Windows upgrades, I'm always like, yeah, well, it's going to happen eventually, so may as well just get on with it. I remember a lot of people stuck to Windows XP, like, as long as possible. <laughs> I feel like there's probably still people out there just sticking to Windows XP, honestly. But yeah, I was using Windows Vista. So when Windows 7 came around and people were like, it's so much better. I was like, the fuck you talking about? It's just Vista with I've the bugs no fixed. Here. I like, should head back. <laughs> Windows 7 was Windows Vista. It ran better than Vista did initially. But the, the biggest issue with Vista was that the drivers were incompatible. But after 7 came out, it's when there were already compatible Vista drivers anyway. So 7 really was just a repackaged Windows Vista. But it was after the drivers were made, so everything worked this time instead of not working. Which it also worked in Vista at the time, but I don't know. People acted like Windows Seven was such a huge, huge little bam. We we made it, boys. And it's like it's it's just it's repackaged Vista. I mean, I went on to Seven again as, as well. Like I was using Windows. Vista for a long time, and then I was using Windows 7, and then I moved on to Windows 8, and then 8.1. I always found the whole start menu complaints with Windows 8 very strange, because the once you knew where it was, it was like, okay, that's how you access it now. But yeah, the, the Windows Vista to Windows 7 is a similar thing to the Windows 8 to 8.1. It's the exact same thing, but a couple of complaints have been addressed, and because it's the exact same thing, more stuff is compatible on the later version. That's, that's the best way I can say to think about Windows 7 versus Windows Vista. 7 was the 8.1. Which is an another reason why I was just like, Really, guys? How are you acting like this is a totally different thing? <laughs> it's... It's the same shit. No! I'm sorry, but... W Windows operating systems and the differences between them is... It, 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 it speaks to me. I play it on PC? Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, I got this on Steam. I, I got the... I got the game with all the DLC on Steam on a, one of those handy-dandy Steam sales for like six bucks. So I was like, yay! <laughs> Picked that up. I think before I even finished Shenmue 1. Still work... I, my, my intention was I'd work through Shenmue 1 and then 2 and... I play on PC! And console. And I... <sighs> oh, my health. My health is low. I gotta eat some garlic. There we go. 
shove my face full of garlic, shove my face full of... What the? What are you... What? What a Kid, what is wrong with you? I'm not even allowed to talk to you to ask. Did you shit yourself? Like, what are you doing? I guess I could excite QTE for prizes. But what do I do with the prize tickets? I'll give it a try. Fake out. Oh, you bastard ass bastard with your bastard ass. Did a fake out again. How dare the quick time event game somehow be harder? <laughs> Times two. Score. I've got this. Got this. Just one more. No, 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 no. Just no more. Just no more. I'll pass. Oh. Yeah, but it's time to check on the man at his house. Like, hey, I was just punching the shit out of things. Okay, yeah, I know where that stuff is. I still gotta do QTE Battle 3. See if I can get a ticket for kicking ass in that. Uh, hey, you haven't been home in weeks. Are you home now? Now that I'm here. He is? No, Excuse he, me. he isn't. Is there a stonemason named Mr. K here? Why do you ask? Oh, he is. I heard that some thugs came through town and caused a lot of damage recently. Thugs, you say? Yes. There were two. One had a spider uh... tattooed on his head. Oh, those guys. Yeah, they came by. They were screaming, where's the Phoenix mirror? As they searched my house. Uh, well, that's one way to put it. As you can see. There's a clue. You're sure they said Phoenix mirror? What do you think they were looking for, you stupid mother- Yep. I'm looking for stonemasons. Do you know any others? Why are you looking for them? It seems those thugs are targeting the village's stonemasons. Well, there's a young guy named Yan Shin down in the Rainbow Basin. I hope they haven't gotten to him. The Rainbow Basin. Got it. Well, considering how long it's taken me to find this shit out, most likely they've had, they got to him like days ago. It's gotten so dark. That's what happens, Rio. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. That's it, that when it's nights, it gets dark. We we notice this is this is life. Sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset. Maybe I should play one. Okay, excite QTE three. Here we go.
Crap. <laughs> Mega fail. Ultra fail. Balzac. Ultra fail. A yellow big win. I've got to focus. I've got to just one more. Just, 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 just do a little more, a little more. Excite QTE. <sighs> got to beat twelve thousand points. I pressed it. Nah, my thumb slipped. Oh crap! I missed my. I missed my. Oh no! I, God damn it! I keep. <laughs> oh well, the point is I got it. <laughs> okay. Well, I got the high score. <laughs> Just one more. No, we had one more three times in a row. It didn't work out so well. Good enough. <laughs> Oh, I kept thinking that it was over, but I guess I got some extra lives from the score. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing in here, kid? Okay, yeah, bye. Mm. And time to go back to Shenhua. Kid like that probably got a knife? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we should check around the lawn. Eh, it's already nine. Gotta have some time to chat it up with Shenhua. Talk about our childhood. Heard talking to animals and not going to school and me hey, Shenhua. shoving candy in my that, face. I spoke with Ka Jun Hao, the stonemason. He says the thugs attacked him too. Oh no. Oh no. He's fine. Don't worry. <sighs> That's a relief. Yes. He said that his house got wrecked, though. Well, you kind of saw Why it. Why did they do that? Because they were after the Phoenix Mirror. Really? So, what do we do now? I heard a stonemason by the name of Yan Xing lives in the Rainbow Basin. Oh, no, Yan Xing. You know him? Well, we didn't hear that anything happened to him yet. He trained under my father. We've hosted him at the house several times. Is he creepy? Like... Know. What's the oh no about? Okay. Mind you, Rio, uh, no sudden I moves. There aren't many men in Bailu. Oh? There are a lot of kids and elderly people, but nobody in between. That's because the men are in the city. It looked, sounded like you were yes. thinking about Around that for a little time bit. Each year, they leave their families behind to go work in the city. Huh? That must be tough. It is. 
some of them never come back. Really? What the fuck? I've heard stories about men who get used to city life and decide they'd rather just- I'll just leave my family! Wow. <laughs> is it true? Is what true? Is the city really that nice? No. Well, it's definitely more convenient than Bailu. Not if you want to breathe clean air. You prefer the city? It's not an either-or situation. Why not? Home is wherever my family, friends, and loved ones are. So people matter most to you? Yeah. I mean, city kind of isn't that convenient when you can't have a bike for more than 15 minutes before it's stolen? Just saying. Like... Hey, Xinhua. Hmm? Do you want to keep talking? Yes. There aren't any cars or motorcycles here, are there? No, there aren't. Must be tough if you have to travel far. It is. You just take the, the shoelace only way express. The Longhuishan port is on foot, but that hasn't caused us any problems. Did you remember the end of the last the game? Is in a hurry to get anywhere. What if you have to carry large bags? No like, problem. The cows can carry. Them. I didn't have a cow with me. Huh. Okay. We load our bags on their backs. And walk them up the mountain road. <laughs> Do the cows want Makes to sense. revolt? And if we get tired of walking, we can ride the cows too. The cows fucking hate you. That's convenient. And if the cows get hungry, we just let them graze for a moment. Wow. Cows are way more useful than I thought. Listen, Leo. <laughs> I want to hear more about you. Yeah? What's up? Did you use a car in your city? Uh... Well, I mostly ran around. I saw cars sometimes, but I went riding on a banging ass motorcycle. Like, it was a tough ass fucking level, I'll tell you that. It was like ridiculous. Like, I had to be that good at motorcycles at that very moment. Um, but, as a bit of a reward, when we had the little ride through with my, uh, not girlfriend at the time that left me for Canada, during the cutscene, you could kind of peek up her skirt a little. I, I, I don't have to tell to her that. Around. It wasn't mine, though. Whose was it? I borrowed it from a friend. Ah, uh, okay. So let me ask you. Yes? Two people can ride a motorcycle, right? Uh, yeah. It's possible. So, who did you pick up on your motorcycle? <laughs> what? Why I was supposed to leave this part out. Your mom told me how this works. Wait, what? Men in the city give women a ride on their bikes and take them somewhere pretty. That's not exactly how it works. It isn't? Not really. <laughs> Plenty of people ride motorcycles by themselves. Oh, Let's not bring up my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Something very specific. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Xinhua. Hmm? Do you want to keep talking? Not about the motorcycle. What kind of food do you like? Mm, just about anything, really. Okay, then. What don't you like? Um, well... Is everything okay? Carrots. Seriously? Fucking carrots. They're not my favorite. Okay. So you don't like carrots. Why not? Gosh, you're talking to me like a little kid. New topic. <laughs> when I was younger, a carrot killed my if friend. say so. Listen, Leo. I want to hear more about you. Yeah? What's up? What food don't you, do you like? like to eat? Mmm. Definitely meat. Meat. I thought as much. Well then, I'll have to make some rabbit for you tomorrow. That sounds great. Uh, yeah. Are there any foods you don't like? Let me think. Fucking carrots. Carrots suck as well. I'm not a carrot guy. Carrots? Really? Yeah. Even now. You too, huh? What? You don't like them? You either? just fit real! I hate carrots. <laughs> They're gross, aren't Pay they? attention! Wow. What are the odds? Leo. <laughs> 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 What's up? There's a game that's taking Bailu by storm right now. 
Want to play? Um, mm -hmm. What kind of game? It's called Face Off. What kind of name is that? It's from a Nicolas Cage movie. Okay, I'll play. Face Off. Ready. What the fuck's the rules? Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Now, we are the rock, and Shenhua is the gentle paper that would go around a But we know karate. Scissors. Rock. Fuck! <laughs> you, you, we're supposed to say it at the same time, Shenhua. You're kind of cheating. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Well, ouch. So, want to play again? But you use your faces for that? Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Paper. <laughs> she kicking my ass. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Well, ouch. So she, she thinks I'm fucking. Uh, like, face off. Ready. Set. Paper. Scissors. Jesus! I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Well, ouch. So, want to play again? Mm, I'm, I'm... Face off. Ready. <laughs> Every time I try and frickin' gamble in Shenmue, <laughs> get my ass kicked. Rock. Scissors. Ah! Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. Oh, fuck, fine. Face off. Fine. Ready. Set. Scissors. Scissors. We're scissoring. What the? <laughs> Hi, Dio. Shenhua. <laughs> we made the same face. So we did. Okay, here goes. Face off. Ready. Set. Scissors. Rock. Mm, bitch! I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. <sighs> what? Well, ouch. It's getting late. We should stop for today. Oh, oh yeah. Now it's yeah, too late it's to late. keep playing. Now that you're we'll ahead. Play again tomorrow. For sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll be great. That'll be fantastic. We'll play a little face-off. It's like in that movie, face-off. <sighs> She's tired of kicking my ass. <sighs> it's fine, it's fine. We're... we're, we're Leo, it's morning. Hmm. Is she getting closer to me when she said that? Right. Like, I used to just wake up on my own, then she started poking her head in, and now she's walking the fuck up to me. Okay, last name on the list is Yan Zin. He's a stonemason from the Rainbow Basin. Go to the Rainbow Basin to meet Yan Zin. Yi Yan Zin. He is Wan's apprentice. Yan saw potential in him. That might be a clue. He is potentially dead. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? I guess. Yeah. Bye. You enjoy your day now, Shenhua. Hey, Leo. Hmm? Have a good day. Be safe. Thanks. I will. She's warming up to me, and that's not good because it's only been like a couple weeks, not the two years it needs to be. You understand? 
Like, it, this is kind of a problem now. If Ryo decides to start going off and doing some stuff that is indefensible, I cannot defend him for that. I'm like, Ryo, you're on your own now. You better have a time skip for Shenmue 4, just saying. <laughs> Ugh. Real here, like, you know, we're... This is 1987. Uh, given the time period, it's uh, perfectly legal. Real! Stop! <laughs> Lovely rice fields. Oh, this retconner age. I just, I just call it a little, a little localization change there. It turns out Shenhua was 18 all along. Or she's a 3,000-year-old dragon. Whatever works better. I don't know. Okay, we gotta go to the basin to meet the mason. Verdant Brig. Languishin. Can we go down this way? I don't think we can, but I mean, I just... Hmm, just kind of kind of feel like walking. I kind of feel like walking, seeing what where it takes me. Probably is going to take me to Rio turning his ass around, saying, like, I shouldn't go this way. I've got no business here. I should head back. <sighs> yeah, I should head back. I, should, I, ain't, I ain't got no business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would I go that way when I don't have anything to do with that way? Well, these are some very well-behaved bulls. They just kind of stay there eating the same grass every day. They ain't penned in at all. No one watching them. They're just like, you know what, fuck it. Build you a nice place to live. Ain't bad, ain't bad. I'll take that. Oh, we can practice our new martial arts. That's right, that's right. We have new skills. But I'd rather practice with cute martial artist lady. Gotta buy some. Gotta buy some more garlic. Running a little low. Forklifts galore. As soon as I can make some money riding a forklift, I'm gonna be all over that. Give me. Okay, there's the towel get. Gonna see about buying some black garlic. Doing some shopping at the local towel get. Double swallow. <laughs> Oh, dude, I, I, no, I, fuck, what did I learn? I learned some stuff that works well with Double Blow, but not Double Swallow, I'm afraid. Not Double Swallow. Excuse me. What is it? I'd like to buy shit. There's something I want. What's that? 
black garlic. The only thing I have ever eaten. Now give me ten of them. Thank you very much. Yes. Actually, garlic is garlic again. Carrots are ninjin. Garlic was similar. Ninin? What's garlic again? Nani? Ninin? Now, black is, of course, kuro, so black is an adjective, kuro -i, or is that one of the ones that works as an adjective with adding a e to it? I think it is, but there are certain colors where it doesn't work out that way, and you have to conjugate them differently. I haven't studied my colors completely. Oh. have to ask around where this place is. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. What is it? I'm trying to get to Yan Xing's house. Which way is it to the Rainbow Basin? That's a bit of a hike. Oh, that's not a problem. It's a ways past the Sunflower Grove. Well, at least I know the direction. I see. Mr. Ye's place, right? Yan Xing is that weaver's son. Got it. Thanks a lot. Sunflower Grove, and keep on walking. Easy enough. Konnichiwa, dekai. Damn it. What? Oh, this guy. He... Hmm. Trying to remember that kanji. That's emotion. That's not war. It's similar to war, but it's not. Oof. But it's like kanji can be very similar from one to another, but have entirely different meanings just because, you know, that's how kanji be sometimes. I got a nice yasai, yeah, convenient, a, a convenient little vegetable stand right there, just in case you're running around and have no health and you didn't remember to buy food earlier. And be like, hey, here's some convenient food for you to buy right here. We've got a long hike ahead of you. Buy some food for the joiny. Not that much of a hike. We're already here. Wait a minute. Hey, sweet. Are you silly? That shape water. Oh, it's thug o'clock. Out of my way, I said. Leave me alone. I told you, my son isn't here. Just move already. <laughs> uh, it is me. I gotta kick my ass. What do you think you're doing? Huh? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Spider-Man. You must be the thugs that wrecked Shu's house. 
Now tell us who you are. Not until you tell me why you're tearing this village apart. That's none of your damn business. Hey. Let's mess this kid up. Me versus the guy I try to make in every... Every create a character possible. Trying to make one that looks like me, and this is the best I can do. Can double blow. I've mastered double blow. I figured it out. I figured out how to double blow in this damn game. It's so simple once you know it. You hold left trigger, which you have to do to have a defensive stance anyway, and then you tap X and quickly tap A. There you go. That's a double blow. Also, I'm about to get my ass kicked. This is not good. I need to practice my kung fu more. Uh, damn it! You're all bark and no bite. Did you really think you could beat us like that? I just figured. The I, dojo, back to square one for you. You, you telling me to grind? <laughs> Okay, uh, instead of helping her, she can wait. She can wait a day or three while we go off and practice. <laughs> She'll be fine. We got, we got, <laughs> we got plenty of moves to work on. We can increase our killing power and then come save her. And she's going to be so happy. So happy to see us walk in there. Like, oh my god, Rio. My hero. And I'm like, not hero. Rio. Yeah. Oh. That, that's how it's gonna work. A cute martial artist lady, we gotta practice. Too much fishing, not enough training? Yeah. That's one of the... One of the woo-do is to practice every day. That's the woo-do I ain't fucking do. I need help with something. You came back? Are you here to spar with me? Yes. Let's go. Please and thank you. Okay. Back twist fist. Spinning back fist. Press the button to change my active skill. I'm just here spinning around. It's amazing Rio hasn't gotten incredibly dizzy after this. I'm just trying to backhand this woman over and over again. Ninja Master Bitch Slap! Gotcha. 
All right. Wonderful. You're proficient enough for actual combat. Except for the actual combat you just got your actual ass kicked in. Thank you so much. Ah, see you, ADR. I learned a lot from you. Come back if you feel like sparring again. Sure. Thank you so much. He liked it when I come and smack the shit out of him. Anyway, I need to stuff my face full of garlic. Okay, now we can have round two. I need help with something. You came back? Are you I never left. With me? I just shoved garlic in my face. Let's go. Please and thank you. Smacking, I can muster. Okay, almost mastered. Increased my killing power. That's good. Thank you so much. I learned a lot from you. Can we just continue without Come having to? A... feel like sparring again. I'm not leaving. I need sure. to fight now. Thank you so much. Come, let, 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 let's go back to the cycle. I need help with something. You came back. Are you here to spar with me? Yes. Let's go. Please and thank you. In the game UFC Undisputed 3, spinning back fist was one of your most dangerous moves. Ah. Channel the power inside, release the warrior, unleash the warrior within. It's too bad I can't increase the power of my... Well, I mean, I guess this is a way to increase the power of my double blow. It's just I have to so overall increase my killing you. power. Come back if you feel like sparring again. Sure. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, first things first, I gotta jam some garlics in my mouth. There we go. Now it's time for more fighting. I need help with something. You came back? 
Are you here to spar with me? Yes. Let's go. Please and thank you. How many times am I going to kick this poor woman in the face? She is pretty good at avoiding the attacks. It's just a friendly, a friendly spar. Well, Country Shape Media, I just, I just stuff my face with raw garlic day in and day out. It is my only, only source of sustenance. Cody, thank you, thank you for the support. Oh boy. Just beating the crap out of this poor woman, but she's very enthusiastic about it. She likes practicing her kung fu and Thank you so much. See? See? I learned a lot from you. Come back if you feel like sparring again. And she's always up sure. for round two or thank twenty. You so much. And I need to practice my kung fu because the thugs just beat the crap out of me, so. Um, um, I'm gonna let them bother the, uh, bother the lady that over there for a while while I you practice. Are you here to spar with me? But it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. They can just do that. Let's go. Please and thank you. And, you know, it was bad when the thugs beat the crap out of me and they were like, you should have been practicing your martial arts at the dojo. Don't you know how to play Shenmue 3, you stupid. There it is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I gotta think of something to talk about while I'm doing this, because all I'm doing is just doing roundless kicks. When fighting thugs always take out the knee joints. After they can't that, they can't beat you. They can't stand up. There. Another round to max out Heaven Flip. So we hit level 9, so we gotta max out that and level 10, and then we've mastered Heaven Flip. After all of this, and my attack's gonna be high Thank enough, so I might want to do the horse stance to even it out with you. endurance. Come back if you feel like sparring again. Sure. Thank you. Though so my much. endurance wasn't what was my problem fighting those guys, I just wasn't able to do enough damage to outpace how hard they were kicking my ass. You came back. Are you here to spar with me? Yes. Let's go. Please and thank you. What about the cover of low budget Thai martial arts superhero movie Mercury Man? No. But it's a possibility. Get heaven flip to fill out level 10, and there we go. We have ourselves a mastered heaven flip. There 
Here it is. Back fist. Yeah, I'm back to slapping her. Probably two more spars to master that. Kung Fu is now level 14. Our attack is level 8 now. Going up three levels on attack. That's Thank not bad, so not much. bad. I learned a lot from you. Come back if you feel like sparring again. Sure. I, 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 Thank you so much. Why not? But how's my... Ooh, I need to eat some garlic. Oh boy, do I need to eat some garlic. Okay, here we go. I need help with something. You came back? Are you here to spar with me? It's not even like 10 in the morning yet, I don't think. Me and this lady have just been trading blows this whole time. And I've just been stuffing my face with garlic. By the time I get to fighting the thugs, I'm not even going to have to throw a single punch. I'll just breathe in their general direction and then it'll just collapse. Maybe the sparring is her way of flirting? I don't know. She is a strangely important seeming lady over in the Sunflower Grove. In fact... In the uh, Battle Rally DLC, there are three playable characters, and she's one of them. Fight a like a true Wushen warrior. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Glad to hear my favorite YouTube slash streamer. By the way, have you ever played the game Vampire? Where you could see... Play that sometime, if not. Would be cool to see you play that sometime. Uh, I have played a little... Uh, did I play it or did I watch Charlie play it? Well, I know we played it on PlayStation 4 way back when. And it was really... There was something about Vampire. Uh, you know, it, it was a little jank, yes, but... You, know, like, you were a doctor, but you were a vampire, but... Uh, if you didn't give in to your vampiric urges, you were weaker and the game was harder. But if you did... You would... like If you killed the people you were meant to help then you would be uh, stronger and the game would be made easier. But in order to get the most power from them, you'd have to learn the most about them in order to do that, which would make it feel all the more evil <laughs> to actually do that to them after you learn that much about them. But to sweeten the deal, the first guy they give you a real opportunity to do that to is a total fucking asshole, so you feel like a good person for doing it. And it's, it's just this way it weaves it all together. I really liked how that worked. Thank you so much. I learned a lot from you. Though it is a little weird once you give into that a little sure. bit and Thank you start you so looking more vampiric, but everyone is still kind of acting like you're the, the big hero doctor man, 
and you're showing up there, you, you, you got the pale skin, the fangs, everything's dark, you're standing tall and erect, and your eyes are blood red. You're like, oh well, let's see if we can do something for this one. Let me see him alone. I was like, oh yes, yes, doctor, sir, yes, let's, let's do that. <laughs> Why not? Weird vampire attacks going on lately. You'll figure something out about that. <laughs> I need help with something. You came back? Are you here to spar with me? Yes. Let's go. Please and thank you. Okay. Time to master the back fist. Move on to the next. Okay. BYA. BYA. Okay, this one's starting to make me remember how big the damn Duke is. I gotta move my hand around to make this command. Uh, Charlie's okay. Uh, she didn't drink... I mean, she drank a lot for her. She had, like, three angry orchards. Which probably a lot of you are like, oh yeah, that's not much at all. But you keep in mind she weighs like 90 pounds, so... <laughs> more spars and I should master the back twist fist. You fight like a true Wuxian warrior. Yes, I do. Nice, nice, nice. We are masters. Thank you so much. I learned a lot from you. You're damn right. Come back if you feel like sparring again. First, I feel like stuff in my face sure. with garlic. Thank you so much. I need help with something. You came back? Are you here to spar with me? Let's go. Please and thank you. Why are all the moves, like half of the moves I'm practicing on this poor woman are just the backhand bitch slap? It's a good thing she's getting a lot of practice in avoiding them. But I wonder if she's a more important character later, which seems likely. Is all this practice with her also going to help improve her stats and make her more useful for trials in the future of the game? Or perhaps she's going to be like a character that turns out to betray us at some point and this is all going to be something I regret as she absolutely kicks my ass hardcore as I spent all this time grinding her up to max level. <laughs> grinding her. fight like a true Wuxian warrior. All right, all right. I think that was all. Yeah, you got no skills to level up. Look for a new skill book. Okay, so now I gotta get new skills. Thank you so much. I learned a lot from you. Come back if you feel like sparring again. Sure. And the problem. Thank you so much. But first, I gotta work on my horse stance. Because I got real good at punching, now I gotta get real good with crotch muscles. Practice my super squats.
It's not even 11 yet. It's still 10... 10.50. Horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. Oh, man. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. Problem, no problem. It's a lot calmer than smack the hell out of this button combination. And flexibility? Must bend like a reed but not break? Ah. Uh. Is Ryo gonna get a chance to do that, uh, the practice where. You know those. You've seen, you've been around the internet, you've been on social media, you've seen the videos of the martial artists getting the shit kicked out of their crotches, like, smacking bricks into their dicks and stuff. Those martial artists? The, 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 uh, dojo of the iron crotch? What are they called? I don't know. <laughs> Impenetrable cock style. Should I keep going? Yes. You want to cover a kung fu comedy? Kung fu hustle. Hmm. There's a janky angle for uh, ank angle for ankles. Ankles for angle. Ang <sighs> yes. They all hear like invisible horsey. Nice, calm, zen, crotch pain. Maybe I'll practice some more? Nice a little bit, then we're gonna have to stop for garlic. I'm gonna have to go buy some garlic, probably. We're running out of garlic. Just been stuffing my face with garlic and doing kung fu all morning. I'm gonna come home to Shenhua, I'm gonna be covered in bruises, sweat, and just garlic stank. And she's gonna be there like, I wanna know about your childhood, yo. What did you do for fun? And I'd be like, ah, I poured sriracha in my eyes once. <laughs> She's like, really? That's so interesting. Japan is such a weird country. I don't know, lady. I'm from the Bronx. What the hell are we talking about here? This is taking a lot longer to level up than my attack did. I mean, I guess the attack was harder to work on, but at the same time, maybe later. I'd like it to go a little quicker. Horse dance, huh? Yeah, takes takes time. Takes time to become a martial arts master takes time and a whole lot of crotch pain. Ryo just engaging in the time-honored tradition of genital torture. 
Gotta get that thumb strung. Uh, fortunately, it's not as... It, it ain't like I'm sitting here playing Echo or... <laughs> Honestly, even Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, that was an idea. I was wondering if I could... Since I already played through Sonic 3 and Knuckles and I went hypersonic and did the whole thing and that was a fun stream, I was wondering about playing through Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 as well, just because, you know, why not? Grab all the Chaos Emeralds, get the good ending in Sonic 1, get the, uh, get Super Sonic in Sonic 2. I remember, though, Sonic and uh, Knuckles in Sonic 2 is really tough. Because... Right at the end? Maybe I'll practice some more. When you gotta... When you're in Death Egg Zone, you gotta... Fight the Metal Sonic and then... Botnik's... Mecha Suit. Uh, that Mecha Suit... Like, here's a thing that you might not know about Knuckles. Uh, you know he climbs walls. Well, there's a reason for that. He actually does not have as high of a jump height as Sonic or Tails. So, yeah, he can climb walls. He has to, to get past some, several obstacles. Um, and the, uh, the big mecha Botnik has big spikes on its knuckles. And under most scenarios that Sonic could jump up there and do some damage, uh, you cannot as Knuckles. You will kill yourself. And remember, the Death Egg Zone has zero rings on it. You have to get through that in Sonic 2 without getting hit, even once. There's no, I got hit, but I ran, I grabbed my ring, and I can keep going. There's no... Fuck it, I'll just go supersonic super knuckles and Should be invulnerable and stand on the boss and uh, uh, do it. No. Death Egg Zone in Sonic 2, like Final Zone in Sonic 1, you don't get any rings. Uh, so, you gotta do it without getting hit at all. And, uh,. Yeah, not being able to jump high enough really, really sucks for Nux. So what you gotta do is when when Eggman zips up and then he locks onto you to try and drop down and crush you, instead of spin dashing away as fast as possible to avoid that, you gotta walk to avoid that, so that you're still close enough to him when he drops, because when he drops, he sinks down a little bit. He drops and lowers a little, and that, when he lowers, that's the only opportunity you have as Knuckles to jump up and pop, hit him. You gotta do that eight times. <laughs> as, you know, classic Sonic, enemies have eight hit points. Like, boss enemies, they have... Bosses have eight hit points. That's how many times you hit a boss to take him down in Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Eight hits, every yeah, single one of them. Eight hits. So yeah. Now, with Rewind, that wouldn't be nearly as difficult. It's like, oh, I died there. Well, Rewind, try again. Just, just move around. But, man. One hit, you die. You have limited lives. No content... Like... You, well, continues to, to Death Egg Zone. That, that that still works. But your continue, you have limited numbers of continues. Each continue gives you three lives. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is just how it all works out in classic Sonic games. I played a lot of them. Yes, Black Wolf. I know I'm annoyed. I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a pathetic Sonic geek. I was going to grow up to be Sonic the Hedgehog, okay? that's That was my plan in life. It didn't work out exactly that way. They got other voice actors. L.A. Decca, you keep telling you. Sonic likes chili dogs, yes, but he, he would never say this is a fucking kick-ass chili dog. And I'm like, you sure? That sounds kind of like you telling me Sonic's a bitch. And they're like, no, Sonic would never say that either. Hmm. 
maybe I'll practice some more. Yes. Practice until you collapse, Ryo! And Shenhua has to drag you home. <laughs> like, why... Why are you crying and your crotch is inflamed? Wanted to give Sonic motherfucking chainsaw hands. Oh, they, that, that's pretty much Metal Sonic and Sonic 2. Well, he's got motherfucking chainsaw quills. Level 6 horse stance. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Oh yeah, it was kind of a roundabout way of saying it, but I think that it'd be fun to do a Sonic 1 and 2 stream. Oh, also, my uh, HDMI splitter was supposed to arrive today, but um, now I got the update from Amazon like, um, shipment delayed. Don't know. You'll more. get it tomorrow, probably. I'm like, never mind. Probably, probably. I want to play Echo Defender the Future. No, no, no don't cancel. Don't. Mm. Ooh, I'm getting more hit points. Nice, nice, nice. All this garlic's paying off. Horse dance, huh? Think meant Mecha Sonic because Sonic. Metal Sonic is a different character. No, Mecha Sonic is the one from Sonic CD. Metal Sonic is the one from Sonic 2, correct? Like, that's the. Like, Mecha Sonic is the anime awesome, like, blue Metal Sonic. Whereas Metal Sonic is the silver shit. Well, I mean, there was the. the one, there was a Sonic 2 one. There was a Sonic CD one. And then there was a Sonic. 3 one, and they are all different designs, and I think canonically they're all actually different robots as well. But, I mean, who gives a damn about the canon in Sonic the Hedgehog? Don't care what anyone says, it'll always be Dr. Robotnik to me. I, 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 I've just been calling him Mr. Botnik. <laughs> it just rolls off the tongue better. Hey, Mr. Botnik. kid does he knows sonic you having a clue okay okay ah, i thought i knew sonic all right my endurance is almost level 10 i've i've been just kind of continuing on zen and out maybe i'll practice some more so sick of the um excuse me it's eggman well i mean dr robotnik was what he was called in america and then in the Sonic Adventure games, they shifted... Uh, he was always Eggman in Japan. Sonic Adventure 1, he was still named Robotnik, but Sonic would call him Eggman. And then uh, Sonic Adventure 2, number one, he was just Eggman. Um, but uh, then there was his grandfather, Dr. Ivo Robotnik. But in the latest Sonic game, uh, Sonic Frontiers, they have... It's an open-world game, so it has all the open-world trappings, including audio logs you can find, including one from several, from Dr. Robotnik, where he says in those logs that uh, Sonic started calling him Eggman to mock him. And so he took that name. He put that on the Empire, like, oh, I'm Eggman, huh? Eggman, well, you will fear the name Eggman. And big letters everywhere, fucking Eggman's house over here, and fucking world is absolutely terrified of the power of Dr. Eggman. <laughs> Remember the Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon that was where he would call Robotnik Robothead <laughs> just to taunt him. Ah, <laughs> uh, the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. 
and I saw I saw the two Son I, I there were three different Sonic cartoons. I only knew about two different Sonic cartoons, and evidently there was I think the one that I didn't see was called Sonic Underground. But I saw one that had a lot of stuff that uh, is from the Archie comics. And I saw the happy little Saturday morning Sonic the Hedgehog with the grounder and the scratch. And uh, I'm waiting. Yeah, that, that, that we could live without, but, you know. Still, that's, that, that, that's, that's a good example of what it was. Should I keep going? Yes, you're still level 9. We need to be level 10. H how else are we supposed to go over there and save the lady from the thugs that are currently beating the shit out of her and have been for the last six hours? If we don't show up at our best, then what's it, was it even really worth it, Ryo? She's already lost, like, most of her teeth. One of her eyes is swollen shut, the other one's blurry, so she has to see that you are at peak physical fitness when you show up. Uh, all cartoons in that era had an annoying catchphrase. <laughs> yeah. Well, excuse me, princess. Voiced by Urkel. Yeah, I think... I think that's right. Wasn't the actor who played Steve Urkel the same one who voiced Sonic in that, that particular animation? Even though Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog was a comedy, I noticed Dr. Robotnik was very sadistic psychopathic in the cartoon. I mean, yeah, yeah. Man, get your endurance up, Ryo! How is it this hard to endure? Maybe I'll practice some more. We need to eat. I'll save it for later. Our health is starting to... Hey, geez, real. Horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. Man, this is taking a while. <laughs> Jaleel White, a.k.a. Urkel, was the voice of Sonic in all three cartoons at the time. I was not aware of that. You could say the man had his work cut out for him. Jaleel White was in Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus. Well, I mean, the man still needs to work, right? I mean, god damn it. <laughs> oh, come on. At least Master Horse Stance 7, Rio. At least Master Horse Stance 7. You can do it, Rio. Master the Horse Stance. Stance of the Horsies. Aw, oh, damn it, Rio. You ain't gonna do it, are you? Oh, you did it. Oh. Our kung fu is strong. Should I keep going? No! No! You should take a Never mind. fucking rest! God! My crotch! Hey. Wow, cute martial artist lady is still doing her thing. Good to know she's still practicing. Okay! See any of the Mario cartoons? I didn't really follow that. I saw... all the, I, I think the most of the Mario cartoons I saw were through uh, YouTube poop. That's, that's where I have all of my knowledge of Mama Luigi! <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna show up there limping 
My crotch throbbing in pain. Fists covered in bruises and cuts. Covered in bandages from being beat up by the cute martial artist lady. Like, all right, you two, listen up. Rio's in the house. You're gonna get your ass kicked. Out of my way, I said. Can't skip this. Leave me alone. I can't I skip told this. You. My son isn't here. Just move already. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Beating up an old lady? Who the hell are you? Or a middle-aged lady, anyway? You must be the thugs that wrecked Shu's house. Now tell us who you are. Ryo, Ryo Hazuki, master of the double blow. That's none of your damn business. Hey. <sighs> Let's mess this kid up. I don't think he spent enough time at the dojo. Let's see if he's been keeping up with his martial arts. Double blow. Oh, he's outside of the freaking. I can't reach him. In the arena, asshat. I already double blew your friend. Mm, he's, he, this guy got a lot of hit points. I'm Spider-Man. Why are you causing trouble here? I'm Look, Japanese Spider-Man. Oh fuck! Would you like a double blow, sir? How the hell? You're just a little punk kid. You got a death wish, don't you, kid? <laughs> ah shit! I'll finish you off in thirty seconds flat. Ah, <sighs> I kind of wish I ate more garlic. Attempted murder! <laughs> I only got like a third of my health. Should be okay if I don't screw this up. Oh fuck. You mean I'm scripted to lose? Well that kinda sucks. Uh, I can't say I'm impressed. I just double blew the shit out of you, and you're just not impressed at all. Wait a ding dang old minute here. Smeagol's back? Ah uh, no, Gollum's here. I can't believe you did that. Are you all right? <laughs> Double blowing all those men. Yes. I'm fine. Who are you? I came to talk to Yan Xing. You did? I'm sorry, but he's not here. Not here? 
Was he kidnapped? Kidnapped? Goodness, no. He's over in Hermit's Nest. Way out there. That's where he fled once he heard they were coming after stonemasons. At least he got away safely. Is something going on? Yuan has disappeared. He has? Oh, oh no. Yanjin is his apprentice, or was, anyway. Yuan's disappeared. Those thugs are after my boy. I mean, yeah. What is going on here? I don't know, but the subtitles are not matching what you're saying. I'd be forever grateful. I hope you find something. Oh yeah, that was Gollum. I'll go to the Hermit's Nest and talk to Yan Sheng. Gollum was in the first game. First, I will eat a lot of garlic because, oh my fucking god. I'm not allowed to walk in here and check stuff out. That's it. Hermit's nest. Hermit's nest. I gotta find the hermit's nest. It's already so late in the day. Hello. That's what happens when I spent the entire day practicing my martial arts to fight those guys. They still weren't pushovers, honestly. Like, I figured I could just double blow the hell out of them, but that big guy... He had hit points for days. Like, it took t about two good double blows to take down the one. The skinny boy, Spider Man, but... Custom character Decker? Bad custom character Decker? Uh... He, uh, he just kept taking him. Speaking of kept taking him, you guys got any more, uh, herbs kicking around? Excuse me. Yes? What is it? I hate to bother you, but... You look strong. Won't you come and work for us? You have a job? Not right now. You have a forklift? <sighs> Excuse me. Yes? I hate to bother you, but... If you have something to ask, I could go get my mother. Oh. What? What? Could you ask my mother? Ask what? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Ron, he just dropped a $10 super chat. Jerky Boys isn't on DVD, but it is in the Xbox Game Store. Doesn't matter if you reviewed or not. Hope you will, but hope... Uh, Tara, I'm trying to read. Uh, hope you can get a few laughs and surprises out of it. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much, Kron. I'll try and check it out. You have recommended it quite a bit. <laughs> so. Oh, hello, hello. We got ourselves some lavender or licorice or licorice. Yes. Something. One of the L ones. Okay. Getting all the herbs in the world. Make it a hermit's rest. Granary Spring, Rainbow Basin, Sunflower, Grove. Hey, kid, which way to Hoymit's Rest? Hey. What are you up to, mister? Just this and that. I need help with something. Yeah? I'm looking for the Hermit's Nest. I have no clue. I see. Well, uh, get some life experience, kid, and come back to me. <laughs> kid just look at me like, I don't know. Uh, that 
it kind of reminds me a bit when I was working uh, working McDonald's on the uh, working McDonald's in Pennsylvania. Mary, we get truckers coming through here and there, and there's night shift, so it's like I'm there just working the everything. And I remember one time, like this wasn't a common occurrence, but it just is. This one guy was so perturbed, and it stuck with me. Uh, this trucker came through, and he asked where this, you know, how to get to this certain road. And I didn't drive. I had no idea. I was 17 years old. I worked at McDonald's, and I told him that I didn't know. And he was, like, very taken aback. And he was like, you work here. He was like, you work here on this road. You don't know how to get to the road that I'm looking for? And I was like, oh, no, sir, I don't. Why don't you get a different job while you're ahead? And I'm thinking, like, my job is flipping fucking burgers. You're a trucker. You're the one supposed to actually know how to get to the fucking road. <laughs> oh, well. Combine red herb with green herb. Oh wait, wrong franchise. Huh? Who knows? We we just saw Gollum kick it around. I I haven't seen him since I kicked his ass in uh, Shenmue One. Here, my bad. McDonald's customers just took their shirts off braless during bar close rush hour. Oh, fun. Hmm. How to get a hermit's rise, hermit's nest, hermit's something. Piggy, piggy, snort, snort, snort. Having a Michael Douglas falling down kind of day, so get it. Didn't hurt anyone, obviously, just one of those days. Feel what you're saying. I... It's... Mm. Oh! Did I... I did do... I, I did excite QTE 3. I did the QTE... T okay, yeah, I did the Wacky Mole. I got the high score in all of these shitty games. Gotta find a different shitty arcade. Ooh, cows. Cow and chicken. Hmm. Have I played Cyberpunk 2077? Uh, back when it first came out, I was playing it. I haven't uh, played it much after... I say thick like that, he's playing some Helldivers too. Ah... Uh. But I haven't played it much since the uh, patches came to fix everything. <laughs> I don't know. I could. I could. It's been a while. It's been a long time. I think one of the... It wasn't like I... I wasn't like disgusted and turned away or anything like that. I was enjoying it well enough even when it was buggy as fuck. But, uh, I think, you know, big problem then was I wasn't really streaming regularly, so I wasn't putting in the time necessary to complete these games that require a good amount of time to complete. Hmm? Odo? Well, that's not really... That's not really the kanji for meeting. That's the kanji for public. That's Kodo. Public... Public room. Uh... Chamber. You shouldn't have to knock. You should be able to just go in there. It's public. Excuse me. 
Um, is anybody home? It's not a this home. Is weird. It feels like someone's there. Probably. The... Who's there? My name is Hazuki. What? I'm a friend of Mr. Yen's daughter. Wait a minute. Shenhua. Shenhua. Did I just trip over the right place? You. Can you open the door? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. As long as I stay inside and lay low, I'll be safe. I understand. All right. I'm going home then. I'll go back to Shenhua's and fill her in on the situation. Okurimas. Okay, I thought we were just teleporting back. Okay, so I tripped across the uh, the hermit's nest, and I found I found a public room, public cha meeting place, and uh, I just used my master Hazuki powers to sense he's here, and it, it, it worked. It's the first time I ever found anyone without having to ask 50 people beforehand. Let me see about getting some convenient vegetables. Oh, sell price nine. They might, they did they jack up the price over here? The black garlic? Is the black garlic more expensive over here? Or am I just crazy? No, actually, it was more expensive at the other place I bought it. It's cheap. Okay, they they are different prices though. But the Tauget was selling them at eleven each. Okay. All right. Hello, T.J. Schneider. Hello, hello. More forklift fuel. That's right. Fuel for the forklift man. The man keeps going, the forklift shall as well. Okay, well, time to head back to Shenhua. We can talk about things, like... If the animal she... Well, she said the animal she talked to didn't have names. I'm thinking, like... Surely they had to refer to each other as something. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I went to the hermit's nest and talked to Yan Xing. Like, oh, for a good. minute. That means he's still safe. And what of my father? I didn't ask. I didn't get that far. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Why not? Yan Xing wouldn't even open the door for me. He's pretty terrified. That's terrible. We haven't found a single clue about your father. True. I can't even find those thugs. Leo. We've got nothing. What the hell do we do now? God damn it! Calm down, Leo. <laughs> Anger won't get us anywhere. But... But I want to be angry! Know. Huh? This is what my father would say. Have a drink. When you're stuck, throw out everything you think you know. That's easy, done. approach things from a different angle. Is that what he would do? It sure is. And you clearly feel pretty stuck. You can say that again. I thought I was making good progress. I'm going to go see Yan Xing again. Maybe this time I can get him to calm down and talk to me for a minute. Okay. I'll just tell him to throw out everything he thinks he knows and calm the fuck down. Shanghua, where the fuck you go? Oh, okay. There you are. I still had, like, a quarter of my health left when that third just... I knocked him down to last hit point, and then the cutscene played where he just punched me in the face, and that was it. I was I was getting ready. I'm like, quick time event? And I was like, no, no quick time event. Fuck you! I'm like, ah. <laughs> hey, Shenhua. What is it, Liao? I'll head over there and pay him a visit. 
He's bound to know something, since he trained under my father. Yeah. Hey. What is it, Liao? I'll head over there and pay him a visit. Good. He'll be safe there, too. It's pretty remote. Not many people go out that way. Okay. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I'll head over there. We're not gonna have a chat? Good. I thought we were building a nice rapport here with, with Ryo and Shenhua. Yeah. I thought the two of them was getting along quite well. Like, too well, but still. That's another goal to work towards. Jail time. I think just a ding dang old minute here. When did these get? Were these always it? Oh my god, there's a lot of more stuff to open. Did I open this stuff before? Hi. Buddha statue, huh? The hell that designs for the Phoenix mirror. How is your end connected to my father and the mirror? Oh, well, time to go to bed. Fuck towel get shop woo greens. Ah. <laughs> uh. I wonder how far we gotta get along with Shenhua before she starts watching us go to bed too. And then starts tucking us in. And then starts sleeping in the same bed as us. Oh, she did not fucking wake us up today. Shenhua, don't give no shits about us today. Shenhua just left us a fucking note. A letter from Shenhua. Theo, I've left early to take care of some things. Come to Ternary Spring later. Ternary Spring? Oh. This must be the way there. Oh, down the thing past the cow. Oh, past the cows. Actually, I know that. Okay. Past the cows. The, fortunately, fortunately, this place is... This place is... Reliable enough. But I know exactly where that is. You can write cows on the map and it's like, oh yeah, those cows. Won't stop having pr connection issue issues, Prince Kito. Ah. Head to the cows. Make a walk down to the cows. Ask the cows, make a left. And we also could see about doing something to help Yai, but I, I feel like Shenhua is slightly more important than her probably dead father. I'm just saying, we could... Guarantee Shenhua's still breathing. I heard the. Does her father need to be alive? Like I, I, I don't see what his safety has at all to do with our ability to complete our mission with the Phoenix Mirror and avenging my dad by kicking the ass of. Bondi, like there's, there's all stuff that he does not need to be around for so yeah I was just liking the fact that she was being all nice to me and I'm like oh boy the 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 the, the, the lady is talking to me and she's not using expletives this is a new experience 
And then suddenly, suddenly she's not waking me up in the morning. I'm waking up to the beeping of my watch. She's not there with breakfast ready and uh, asking if I got enough rest and waving me goodbye as I go off on my day of double blowing every man in town. She is gone and just left a note. And a lunchable. Not even the pizza lunchables, just the, the, the little ham and cheese crackers. Like, what the hell am I gonna do with that? I've got no business here. Are you seriously? I should head back. Yo. Okay, the Sunflower Grove. Okay, I see now. By the bell tower, take a right past the Sunflower Grove, and then it'll stay left there. Okay. I thought it was those cows on the map. I I missed, I understood which cows you were talking about. Sorry. There's the tower. Just a little stroll and we'll get there. We'll get there in a jiffy. Still a very nice looking game. At least it's a nice place to have to slowly walk through. I mean, I don't have to slowly walk. I could be running. But then I'll be wearing down my hit points and have to stuff my face with even more garlic. Then I'll get to my destination and it'll be telling me something like. All right, now wait four hours. <laughs> hey, here's the Tau Get where they overcharge me for black garlic. Can't get Tau Get brand black garlic anymore. Gotta buy local. I mean, Shenmue always had a lot of detail going on, but back in the day on the Sega Dreamcast, it was... Well, it was impressive that, hey, they have these stacks of cans on the shelf, and they're all really there. It's like, yeah, they're made of, like, 12 polygons each. <laughs> but that was still very impressive for the time. It'd have stuff like this, but it would all be just flat textures, little floating pieces of paper. walking. Ryo's kicks should be freaking ridiculously powerful. Wait a minute. There's a street light. Just just a just a street light right there. Just a pole. Just notice that 
There's a lot of trees, and then I see a couple poles. I'm like, wait a minute, electricity? Electricity? In this city? May have been the path going into the sunflowers? Uh, it said uh, the... Hmm, you might be right. But it showed the river, and then it showed the path up before crossing the bridge, and I know here there is a bridge over a river, and a path to the side of it. But it was like, stay left. It showed a path branching to the right and to the left, and it showed going to the left. Here we go. This should be it. And I keep our eyes peeled for a Shenhua. Is she dead? What the fuck? Well, in that case, I shouldn't. Ha I don't have to hurry. I can pick some flowers along the way. Did the thugs beat the shit out of her? Like, what happened? She's just there, like. There you are. Hi, Leo. Okay, so you're not dead. Probably. This is one of my favorite places. I come here whenever something's bothering me. That's an interesting way to talk about me. The tree protects me. We have one at home. I could punch this tree. What the fuck? I remember this from the first game. Daddy taught me the art of punching trees. Dad was proud of how I punch trees. My dad did look an awful lot like Segeta Sanshiro. You all. Who the fuck are you? Did you just say Iwao? Wow! What the That was my father's name. Ah, oh, I see. Well, you're the spinning image of him, I'll say that. You knew my father? What is this mark? He punched the tree! Iwao made this mark when he was practicing his punch. He punched the tree! <laughs> he did. How is Iwao? Is he well? He's dead as he shit! That too. Oh. By a man named Landi in Yokosuka. Landi. Do you know him too? I do. His real name is Zhao Long Sun, the son of Zhao Sun Ming. Zhao Sun Ming's son? Yeah. Look at this photo. Look at this photograph! This is Iwao and Zhao Sun Ming when they were young. They both trained here, sharing techniques and getting stronger together. So he knows Double Blow as well. Landi said that my father killed Zhao Sun Ming. Frankly, I don't believe it. I know better than anyone that he was not a man capable of murder. Otherwise, he would have not been taken out so easily in that opening. Visit Mon Yuan Temple. The resident monk there might remember more about Iwao. Not that he was morally above it, he just kind of sucked. Those who can't do, teach, Ryo. Leo. Shenhua, what's Man Yuan Temple? It's a long-standing temple in the village. Where is it? Go back to the village square and walk past the bell tower. Got it. Wait. You go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to stay here for a few. Okay. <sighs> I'll see you later. Uh, can I punch the tree? For old time's sake. Like, 
can I? I want to punch the tree. I should go to Monier and Temple. She just kicked my ass out. And, okay, I'm not allowed to punch tree. Mm. Ah, oh, good night, Mad Slasher. Oh man. I also gotta see about... I should talk to Dude Man. What are the price of the veggies here? Eleven. So Eleven for a piece of garlic there as well. So where do I get the cheapest garlic? Where do I get the best price for my black garlic? to this temple before just because I was like oh what's all this this calls for some garlic everything's all spooky A lot of chimkins. And I did something here before, I think. I can't remember. I guess this is not the place I'm going to right now. all spooky. There's lots of temples. There's lots of temples. There's one thing. He actually walks downstairs like he's walking downstairs. A lot of video games don't have that. Like most games, you, you, when you go downstairs, it's just your usual kind of walking animation and it is sure to lower you and pin you to the ground as you do so. Because that's kind of the easiest way makes it the easiest to control. Like having to slow down to go down the stairs, most games, yeah, like, yeah, you don't, you don't want to do that. Because a lot of games you're running around and shooting shit. Having to slow down to walk down the stairs... Is not as oh, yeah this one yes I've seen this temple before down the way towards the fishing place the one by the side of that the uh yeah mo a lot of games like The act of going up and down stairs is very much streamlined to just kind of glue the player to the ground and slide along. Like, going up the stairs is about that. Now, these don't count as stairs, right? Okay. No, this isn't like the stairs by the editing. Those stairs will probably count as stairs. Oh, this guy. Let me 
he's lifting his legs up nicely. Pardon me. How may I help you? Excuse me, sir or madam. Do you remember a man named Iwao Hazuki? Hazuki? How do you know that name? It's my name. Iwao is my father. I had a feeling I knew you. Do you remember anything about my father's time that he spent here in the village? That was almost 20 years ago. He came here all the way from Japan to train with a companion of his. This one. Ah, oh, yes, this young man. He and Iwao often came here together. His name was Jo Soon Ming. Do you know what happened to them after they trained here? Yeah, crunk. Only that they suddenly stopped coming to the temple. I don't know what happened, but I didn't see them in the village after that either. Do you remember anything else? Ah, oh, I may still have an email Iwa wrote. An email? What? Really? I'll go take a look. Yes, please. This is where we keep everything related to the history of the temple. Please, have a look around. Oh, I got a... Go poking through all the drawers. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Don't mind me, lady. I'm going to be in here rummaging for a while. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, skill books. Now that I'm not allowed to take. The hell is that? It's a guide for Legend of Zelda. Fantastic. This might be the part that actually takes about 25 minutes. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we got beads and drawings and Okay, Terrence, okay. Uh, okay, drawers, come, okay, glasses. Everything related to the history of the temple is just kind of somewhere in here. Like, ink and notepads. And... I've never seen a magazine like this. The world is a big place. Let's get near it. I thought it only for Chinani. This is related to the history of the temple right here. This is what Shenmue was supposed to come out on. 
Where's the Dreamcast? What a well-behaved cat. I wonder how Fong Mei is doing right now. I thought that was a statue. Yeah. This is picture. I've seen this before at the Seven Lucky Gods. Dallin monks do actually play video games at their temples for real? I mean, this is 87. I think the best you got at this point would be a NES. Possibly a Sega Master System. I know that the uh, Sega Genesis originally launched in 1989. It's old tech. This is... The skill books, can we take one? Or all three? Organize the shit that they have that's for the history of the temple? I think I can fish here. Real! <laughs> Not now! This is. <laughs> this is. What is this a picture of? Pumpkins! This is. Where is this? Can I climb up there? No, they, they don't let you. Like, we don't have the control to do. Uh, this is. That's the bridge. You need... Oh, okay. One. The Verdant Bridge. It must be pretty old. Hmm. What the? What the? Dragon. Phoenix. I have Phoenix. That has dragon. Yep, that's a Phoenix, all right. Who exactly are these people? What do you mean, these people? So sorry to have kept you waiting. Hmm. Have you found anything of interest? This photo here. I was thinking of the Sega Saturn. Ah, oh, yes, that photo is said to be of an Imperial envoy dispatched to Bailu Village by the Emperor himself. What are these crests on these banners? They represented the will of the Imperial family. A dragon for the Emperor, and a phoenix for the Empress. Oh, you got the girly mirror. They said that the Emperor of the time revered the dragon and phoenix greatly. Why was this Imperial Envoy visiting Bailu Village? I'm afraid that is all I know. Would you mind if I borrowed the photo? Take a picture of it! Oh, hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to show a bit of faith in Iwao san. Please take it. Thank you. I'll be sure to bring it back to you. Hold on, take this too. Your father left it as an offering for the temple. I cannot read what it says, but I hope that it brings you some comfort. Can I check the rest of your drawers? Photo of the Burden Bridge. I, I want to see if you got a Dreamcast in there too. I should show that picture to Shenhua. 
Okay, is she still dicking around by the Shenmu tree number two? Hold on, let me... <sighs> Closed off. I'll never know if they also had a Dreamcast. <laughs> Team Grey Phoenix? I don't know. Is it, we going for Phoenix, a Dark Phoenix, or Cosmic Phoenix? I, t I guess it's all Cosmic. Shenhua was waiting by Shenmue Tree 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's past the Sunflower Grove. Move bit slowpoke. But yo, Yazuki coming through here. The master of the double blow. The man of the forklift! The hero. From the east. Like, even more east than you. Huh. Simon Phoenix. There we go. He's out and about. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. No more thugs to speak of. Gollum hasn't been crawling on the roof more. It's fine. It's safe. Yeah, I can see my vegetable cart from here. Shenhua, the fuck are you hiding now? It's just a ding dang old minute here. It start raining. It's raining. <sighs> Dramatic things happen when it rains. Grandmaster Fong. Ah, yo. I may not be able to move like I used to, but I'll spar with you nonetheless. Uh, actually not what I was here for. Not now. What? Are you afraid you'll hurt me? If I were only a few years younger, I would have liked to spar with you, Ryo. I'll come back. I really want to kick your ass, Ryo. Grandmaster Fong. Ah, Ryo. Hey. I have to say, you look more like him every day. It's almost as if Iwao were standing here. I see. Well, he can't because he's currently dead. Those were good times back then. I'll come back. Uh, uh, right. Uh, well, have you seen Shenhua? It's fucking raining, and I gotta bring her in before she melts. Hello? Uh, looks like no one's home. 
Oh, this is a terrible, terrible situation right here. All their clothes out to dry and it's fucking raining. Ooh. See the Wicked Witch? I don't know. She she had her youth talking to animals. She fucking cheated at face-off. I don't care what anyone says. She kept waiting for me to make my face before she decided which face she was going to do. That's not how you play. How many years between 2 and 3? Uh, Shenmue 2 came out in 2002 and Shenmue 3, 2019. So, uh, 18 years? Shenmue 2 was released for the Sega Dreamcast. Shenmue 3... That'd be, uh, PC and PlayStation 4. I think it's on the PlayStation Store. I've heard that it's available on PlayStation. I haven't gone and checked myself. But I know Shenmue 3 ain't on Xbox. And hua! This this is just what it's like. I'm trying to trying to be right by a lady. I go where she tell me to meet her. Turns out she ain't there. I've been walking for hours, eating nothing but garlic, and it's just raining, and it's just the shit that I gotta deal with. And it's like, oh, well, Rio, if you, you, you gotta understand. She never wanted to meet you there. She just didn't want to tell you she didn't and hurt your feelings. It's like, yeah, well, now I'm fucking hungry, I got garlic breath, and I'm cold and rainy and my feet hurt. I'd rather she had just told me to go double blow myself, okay? That would have been a much better outcome. <sighs> Wait, the fucking... It stopped raining as soon as I... Oh, hi, was that? No, that's not pickable. Can I please punch the tree? I want to make my daddy proud. I want to double blow this tree. <sighs> 20 years about between forklifts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. We all got friend zone, that's why Deck have been getting into yoga lately. Wait, huh? When did this go into yoga? It's been years since I played Dalsim. Shenmue go. Oh, say so double blow myself. Ah, right. Hey, soggy martial artist lady, have you seen a, 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 a two-timing bitch run through here? I need help with something. Yes, but I wanted to ask you something too. Please train me. What? I'm not really the teaching type. Then, would you mind sparring with me? I've this might be done... my only chance to learn Japanese martial arts. 
please, Mr. Hazuki. Ma'am, we've done that like three days straight. Sorry, kid. I don't have time right now. Kid, I have other things to take care of first. Don't be rude. Oh, I see. I'm sorry for bothering you. No, I'm the one that should be sorry. Is you were a fucking asshole right then. Sorry, kid. Forklift man doesn't have time for little girl. Think I've misunderstood her desire to spar? Oh yeah, just <laughs> just a standard thing, just absolutely not picking up what they're putting down. Okay, well, I guess I could try and talk to talk to friendly friend man. See if he's still kicking around in the in the little uh, hidey hole. First, we should eat, though. Oh, God, we're hungry. Oof. God damn. Stuff my face with garlic. Here we go. Hey. Hey, mister. Who are you? I don't know. Me? I'm Dior. Nice to meet you. Let's play. Play? Let's play. I'm a little busy. I want to play soccer with you. You don't have legs. But you don't have a ball. I guess that's important too. Oh, I want to be a soccer player, but my sister won't buy me a ball. Well, oh no. How the fuck am I supposed sister, to play with you? She's called May May. Works at a gift shop. Gift shop? Oh, you must mean the prize exchange. I really want a soccer ball. The pale toss place has one too. Do they now? Uh huh. If you throw the rock into the bucket, they give you a soccer ball. But I couldn't do it. Not even with my whole allowance. Yo, you suck. Can you get it for me? Fine. Of course. Get you a you damn really ball. It? Yep. I promise. Yahoo! I'll be right here. Uh. Do I have a soccer ball already? I guess that's a no. <sighs> oh, what the heck? Yes, I don't. Mini soccer ball. A small soccer ball made for kids. <sighs> okay, you... Man, they just let... They just let all that food get rained on? So, this, uh... Did you... What you... The, the thing you... Want to trade tokens for prizes? Sure. I have a feeling that I'm getting swindled here. With that amount, here's what you can choose from. Because it just so happens, little bastard outside really needs a soccer ball. Wait, the fuck? You don't got no soccer ball. We got to peel the whole tomatoes. What? Mandarin oranges. Fantastic! Y your can's got dents in it. What a prize. Eh, good enough. <laughs> Nothing strikes your fancy? No. No. Both have a soccer ball. You don't. Hell am I supposed to do with that? I gotta go throw rocks and pails to get soccer balls. If 
Shenmue's touch anything is that 1980s Japan was full of side quests adult street and adult street games. Fair. Good night, Kron. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, I gotta call this after t today in game two. Paul is not streaming tonight, so I could go a little bit longer. But I do still have to keep studying my Japanese. Yeah, there we go. Hey, how's it going? Yan Xing. It's me, Hazuki. I'd like to talk to you. Can you open the door? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Hey, do you have no pants? I stay inside and lay low. I'll be safe. I see. Well, okay, that did nothing for me. Ooh, vegetables. Okay, their garlic is nine. Okay, so they got the good price garlic here. Spend a hundred and eighty dollars on garlic. Oh, she's got four hundred and sixty-six dollars left. We're gonna have to make some money again at some point. So, uh, what's the uh, matter you? Excuse me. Huh? Huh? Um, hello? Yes, dear? Do you have a moment? Can who? Okay, it's great. You have a good day. I'm gonna uh, go talk to these folks. Excuse me. Why, hello there, Sonny. What can I do for you? Why does it say, what can I do you for down there? I hate to bother you, but... This place is colder than a day-old dumpling. Oh, I just can't seem to warm up no matter what I try. You, on the other hand, have a cool composure hiding under fiery rage. Fascinating. Right. That's wonderful. Uh, how are you? Excuse me. What is it? If you're here to apprentice under me, I must respectfully refuse. That's not it. What? You're not? The only young people that come here are those looking to apprentice. Sorry to bother you. It's okay. Sorry to assume. Okay. Thank you, Bert. Uh, Ernie. Ernie, you got anything to say? Who? Lei and Zhu. Excuse me. What is it? Um, I'm afraid I'm not accepting any apprentices. You heard that from the last guy. You've got the wrong idea. You here for something else? They used to come in droves asking me to teach them. Sorry to bother you. Okay. Uh, let's go to Tao get and make some money. We need to get some money. Excuse me. What is it? I'd like to help you split some wood. And it's unfortunately a little talking. late to fish. You can only fish in the morning. But what's this? Whoa, whoa, Robert. The boss heard you needed a ball of some kind, so I shook down some old folks and got you some bits. Oh, dang. Thank you, thank you. Oh, boy. Yes. Uh, making some mm -hmm. in-game cash. That's it. Good. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotta concentrate because I always lose concentration at some point. And I lose my combo. And I lose the cool music. And I don't like that. That's it. Yes. Oh. It's actually levels of cool music. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. Now if I do more perfect cuts, it seems to get better results and better music. Mm -hmm. But I haven't been doing that. Good. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I just broke into the higher rank there, and boom. Lost it. <laughs> Impressive. I know it's not much, but here, take yeah, it. Yeah, it ain't. I make way more fishing. But may as well try again. See how it is go. That's it. Perfect. That's it. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's it. There we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. What if there's a level past this? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's it. Yes. That's it. Impressive. Five hundred and ninety-nine Hong Kong dollars. Much, but here, take it. No, I'm good. I don't need to get paid. Well, I ain't forcing you to do anything. The job will be waiting for you. Going to see Good Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire tomorrow. Nice, nice, nice. Terra. Okay, okay, boom, boom. Well, at least she rematerialized. That's the back of the paint picture. Huh? Nineteen ten, the second year of Shuen Tong. That's the year it was finished. It's pretty old, then. The resident monk said it was built for an imperial envoy that visited by Lu. Look at the flag and the mirror. These patterns match what we saw in my father's quarry. This might help us find him. How? Is there anyone who might know more about the bridge? Elder Ye probably would. Yeah. Yeah. The elderly lady who makes medicine for the village. Oh, she the crazy the one! Square. The blind crazy lady. Perfect. I'll go see her tomorrow. I'll show the blind lady the picture. Thanks. That'll that'll definitely work out.
Theo. What's up? There's a game that's taking Bailu by storm right now. Want to play? Oh boy. Yeah, sure. What kind of game? It's called Face Off. What kind of name is that? Okay, I'll play. All right. Face Off. Ready. Set. Paper. Scissors. God damn it. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. You don't have to say that every time Ouch. that my face is so, hideous. So, want to play again? Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Scissors. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. Face off. Ready. Set. Paper. Paper. What is that face? Don't make me laugh. I could say the same to you. Okay, it's a tie. One more round. Let's go. Okay, here goes. Face off. Ready. Set. Paper. Paper. Scissors. Fuck! I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Ouch. So, want to play again? Face off. Ready. Set. Scissors. Paper. Ha! Gotcha. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. Face off. Ready. Set. Scissors. Paper. Ha! Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm How not letting you quit while like... you're ahead. How does she say paper like... One more game. Hey, her. Eh. Uh. Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Scissors. Mm, gotcha. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. Face off. Ready. Set. Paper. Paper. What the? Hi, Dio. Shenhua. <laughs> we made the same face. So we did. Okay, here goes. Face off. Ready. Set. <sighs> Paper. Rock. Got it. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. <sighs> face off. Ready. Set. Scissoring. Scissors. Scissors. Yeah, scissoring. What the? Hi, Dio. Shenhua. <laughs> we made the same face. So we did. Okay, here goes. Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Paper. Ah. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. <laughs> what? Well, ouch. So, want to play again? I will... Face off. I, I'm going to bludgeon Ready. my face into your face Set. until your face no longer can face. Rock. Scissors. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. <laughs> One more game. <laughs> face off. <laughs> Ready. Set. Scissors. Scissors. What the? Hi, Dio. Shenhua. <laughs> we made the same face. So we did. I just gotta keep going. Like. Okay, here goes. Face off. Ready. 
Set. Scissors. Paper. Hey, ha, 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 ha. Ha, I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. L bitch, we gotta go to bed at some point. I'm just trying to be nice to you and spend time with you. Ready. Set. Scissors. Rock. Ah. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Ouch. So, want to play again? <laughs> face off. <laughs> Two AI Ready. programs having a game Set. with each other? Kinda. Paper. Rock. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. <sighs> face off. Ready. Set. Paper. Rock. Ha! I won. Your face. Ah, <sighs> man. Oh no, I'm not letting We you gotta go to bed, Shenhua. We need to sleep at face some off. point. Ready. I'm just trying to be Set. nice and spend time with you, but you're just Rock. taking advantage of this. Paper. Fuck. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Ouch. So, want to play again? Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Scissors. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. <laughs> just keeps going. Face off. She's supposed Ready. to say when she's Set. done and it's like time for sleep, but she won't. Rock. Scissors. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. Six hours of this, we're just gonna have a 24 hour face off face stream. Off. Ready. This is what it's gonna Set. be. It was just gonna be a face off Scissors. channel from Rock. now on. Ah, damn it. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. <sighs> what? Ouch. Oh, thank God. It's getting late. <laughs> We should stop for today. Wow. Yeah, <sighs> it is late. We can play again tomorrow. Oh, well, for sure. it is late. You don't say. You don't say, Rio. It's fucking late. We've been sitting there making faces at each other. It's 11 fucking 12, 10. We've been sitting there making faces at each other for like five hours. <laughs> oh. Oof. Okay. Ah. <sighs> well. That's the time I have for streaming today. Thank you all for joining me. It has been, it has been very nice. Thank you all for watching. I have a decorator. And remember. A her. Just, just see that face. Like burned into your memory. See it in your dream. Shenhua saying paper, just laughing and mocking you as you're standing there under Shenhua Tree 2, under the Shenmu Tree 2, with your father's punching a hole in it from his double blowing on the tree. And the rain's just coming down. And she was supposed to meet you there, but she ain't nowhere to be seen. And she's just in the clouds laughing at you like, paper, paper. Yeah, there's a hideous face you have, Rio. Paper, paper, paper. Ah, anyway, it is time, it is time to raid out. So, so who is raidable right about now? Let's see, let's see. I think Black Daddy on them Helldivers too. Whoa, Terry. Terry, I can't, it'd be nice if I could see my following for more than two seconds. Okay. Uh, Boxer's playing some... Oh, that's a different one. I thought it was uh, getting over it, but he's playing a difficult game about climbing. It's clearly a different game, but it's obviously in the same vein. So what you think? Thick Black Daddy with some, uh, some Helldivers, or 
boxer with a difficult game about climbing. We could do face off for it. Ah, uh, thick black daddy. Thick black daddy. Bam a lamb. Okay. Random music warning. I just clicked on his thing. I did. There, I can't see the screen. Sorry. Uh, I need to see the button I have to click to start the raid. Okay, there we are. All right, all right. So I'll be raiding Thick Black Daddy. See you all over there. And I'm going to be studying my Japanese, so I'm going to be raiding and running. But that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs>